Here's to our omniscient God, honor to Pastor Williams, my pastor, my friend, mentor, All right. to my young men in the gospel, to this fine church, and our officers and leaders, to you God's people. It's just good to be here standing before you. I, I don't want to bore you, but the, there is a word from the Lord. I, I'm excited about this word from the Lord. I'm just trying to get it all together. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. For those of you that have your Bibles, uh, I would like to invite your attention to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. I want to begin reading at verse 1. I'm going to read all the way down to verse 4. Then uh, we're going to drop down to verse 14 and read on to 15. I mean, it's, this, this text is just powerful. It's a whole lot to it. I, I, I have a, a goat full of text, but only a bucket full of time. So I'm going to try to exhaust All right. as much out of this as I can. Right. And it reads as follows. After this, the Moabites and the Ammonites, with some of the Midianites, came to make war on Jehoshaphat. Some men came and told Jehoshaphat, a vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the other side of the sea. It is already in Hazazon tomorrow, that is in Gedi. Alarmed, Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord, yeah. and he proclaimed a fast for all Judea. Yeah. The people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord, Indeed, they came from everywhere in town of Judah to seek him. Let me drop it down to verse 14. Then the Spirit of the Lord came on Jehaziel, son of Zechariah, the son of Benaniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite, a descendant of Asaph. As he stood in the assembly, he said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. of his word. Lord, we come at this time, God, thank you for this opportunity, God. I am your servant. I am your vessel, God. Use my mind, God, to articulate your thoughts, God. Use my voice, God, to, to speak your word, God. All these blessings we ask in Christ's name. Amen. 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 One of the most misconceptions of our faith is that when you're doing the Lord's will, that everything will be all right. <laughs> that when you're living for the Lord, everything will be smooth. When you're living for God, you will not have any troubles. But the Bible teaches against that erroneous theology. The Bible clearly tells us that a man is born of a woman a few days and full of trouble. Right. Jesus even said that in this life, in this world, you will have trials and tribulations. But be of good cheer, for I have already overcome the world. Yeah. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but if I could tag a text, a topic to our text, I want to to simply suggest that the Lord's fighting this one for you. Yeah. All right, all right. The Lord is fighting this one for you. Oh, 
And here in our text, we see that Jehoshaphat is a king of Judah and Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And as he was doing the Lord's business, you have to read back in chapter 19 how King Jehoshaphat was appointing judges to judge the people as the Lord see fit to give the, the justice. All right. Come on now. He told the judges, now, be careful what you're doing because you're not doing this for men, but you're, you're doing this for the Lord. Yeah. And in the presence of them doing what the Lord wanted them to do, the enemy came to attack them. Well. I, I, I don't know who you are, what you're going through in your life. You're here in the house of the Lord. You, you, you're praising the Lord. You, you're faithful to God. And yet you find yourself in trouble time after time after time while you're doing the Lord's will. The enemy continues to attack you. Well, well. Well, if the enemy is attacking you this morning, then our pericope prescribed a formula to help us. Uh-huh. To allow the Lord to fight our battles. All right. Well, Are you well, pray with me? Yes. All right. Okay. Notice the Bible says that when they came to Jehoshaphat and told him that the enemy was approaching him from every side, Jehoshaphat did something that is unique. Instead of Jehoshaphat calling the army, he decided to call on the Lord. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So whenever we find ourselves under attack of the enemy, the first thing we should do is call on the Lord. All right, all right. If the enemy is attacking your finances, call on the Lord. Yeah. If the enemy is attacking your health, you must call on the Lord. If the enemy is attacking your family, then you must call on the Lord. Yeah, all right, all right. And after... Jehoshaphat called on the Lord and he decided to call the people yeah, yeah. with him. Those who were with him, he suggested that, hey, not only should we call on the Lord, but, but we got to do something different. Well, we can't expect for the Lord to bless us and we're not putting ourselves in the posture to be blessed. Well, all right, all right. All right. He says here that, that we need to fast. Yeah, uh -huh. And what fasting does is it takes your undivided attention off of everything else and zero in on God. Yeah. Right. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, the reason why a lot of us are failing in our battle, uh, even though this battle is the Lord and the Lord is fighting for us, but because we're not focused on God, we're getting in the way of God while he's fighting our battle. So, so, so he says, we are fast. When you're in trouble, fasting is a good thing to do. The reason why you should fast is, it, is because it's during the time when you can be giving other things your attention, wow. you're giving to God. Wow. And when you're giving God your attention, when you're giving yeah. God your time, and when you're giving God your energy, God can't help but to do something for you. Yeah. All right, all right. Notice what happens after they decide to call on the Lord and to fast. That they, they decided to seek the Lord instead of seeking the hell of things themselves. My Lord. Mm. My Lord. Well. So, so when they decided to seek the Lord, the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord came. That's what it is. I, I want you to notice this system of sequences that, 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 that's going on right here. Right. And, and, and I tell you that if we continue to follow this pattern, the Lord will fight your battles for you. Yes. Well, well. It's right here in our text. It says that after they sought the Lord, mm -hmm. the first thing that you have to do when you are, are under attack of the enemy, you got to seek God. Well. You, you, you can't seek the answer on Facebook. Right. You, you can't seek the answer on Twitter. Right. You can't seek the answer on the telephone. Right. 
Yes, the answer is seeking God. Yes, 